This segment is proudly brought to you by Vic Roads Custom Plates. Peter, g'day and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. How are you going? Very good. I'm here today to, uh, to talk about my father's car. It's, it's got some personalised number plates, uh, which is after his army registered number, 342695. Right, now, we're here for Vic, Vic Roads Custom Plates today. We're here at the Shrine yep. uh, to talk about your uh, Toyota Yaris. Now, people might say, why is Toyota Sierra on? But it's about personalised plates and the story behind those plates. So you actually brought these for your father. I did. Um, he was having a hard time uh, remembering things. I didn't realise the time was the onset of dementia. And uh, I thought a good idea would be to get his uh, registered uh, number for his number plate. So I applied to Vic Roads and they gave it to me. Now, this is a, a very specific number because it relates to his uh, army service number, doesn't it? That's correct. Um, my, my father was uh, an army apprentice back in the day. Um, what year? 1955, he joined at 15. Yeah. And he turned 16 later that year, but it's uh, pretty young. And his first day, I think it was in February 1955, uh, he's up for a board um, with his army registered number, 342695, looking like a criminal, but that's what they, that's what they did. Yeah, I saw the photo of that, and he actually does look like a crim, but actually he served in the army for how long? He, for nine years. Um, his apprenticeship as a blacksmith went for four years, um, and then he had to give one year back for service and plus an extra year, which was nine. All right. And then he served in the reserves as well after that? He, he was in the emergency reserves, yeah, for about three or four years after that. Um, it was in the army reserve, but it, it was different times then. They had the uh, conscription and so forth, so, and they wanted to keep all those skills in the army. All right, now, when you actually got the custom plate, what did you think of the custom plate in the first place Because he, he, for the registration? Um, well, he's having a hard time remembering um, things and he, he was never going to forget his army number. Um, it was a big part of his life and I remember my mother was still alive at the time. Uh, I told her I was going to get Dad uh, a personalised number plate. She said, what does he need that for? What could he possibly do? And I said, I'm going to put his army registered number on it, and she just spat it off like that. And uh, apparently, when he, he did 12 months overseas in New Guinea, and she used to write love letters back and forth to him, and you had to put the registered number under the stamp. Yes. So they, so they knew where they were in the world. Oh, so, you, so you, your mum knew the number, the service number, as much as your dad? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what, what happened when you went through the process of uh, applying for the uh, custom plate? I, I got on the Vic Roads website, and uh, it was pretty easy to do, actually. Uh, they ask you what sort of plates you want, whether you want numbers or things like that. And yeah. um, I wanted numbers, so I put them in it and uh, within 10, 20 seconds they said I could have it. And then I just followed it through, um, paid by a credit card and I think about 10 days later they came in the mail. And, ah, fantastic. And it was a bit of a, a bit of a shock for my father. Um, we set him up, we, we took him out somewhere, he drove his car there and while, while we were inside uh, someone went out and changed the plates on his car and he came out and um, he picked it straight away. Yeah. He couldn't believe it. Really and what happy. was his reaction when he... Because uh, obviously you didn't tell him then. No, I didn't tell him. It was a surprise. And yeah. he loved it. Yeah. 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 No, fantastic. And what were some of the stories that he told you when uh, when he was apprentice in the Army? Oh, look, lifelong stories. He, he made lifelong mates. Some of them are still alive now. Um, as he was getting on in years for his uh, reunions, I used to take him to some of them. And, you know, they're a great, great bunch of people, great Australians, a whole lot of them. Now, we're here at the Shrine. Has he ever uh, come back to the Shrine to uh, remember? Um... Well, I've got some pictures of him actually um, marching through uh, Melbourne um, as, with the apprentices every year, you know, with the, the old Lee Enfields and the bayonets oh, and that. Yeah. So, yeah, he has been here, but it wouldn't have been for a long time now. Yeah, okay. Well, look, it's a beautiful spot in Melbourne, uh, the Shrine. Great to come down and have a look, and what a perfect drop, uh, set, setting as a backdrop for uh, the Toyota Yaris with the service number on the plates. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a great day. Thank you very much. All right, Peter, well, I want to say thank you very much for being on Bumper to Bumper. Uh, this segment's been brought to you by Vic Roads Custom Plates, and uh, we'll go and look at your car now. Cheers, thanks for Cheers, that. Cheers, mate. This car's a 2007 Toyota Yaris, four-cylinder, front-wheel drive. Uh, it's a hatchback. It hasn't been modified at all, except for some of the, the battle damage that my father put on it. He was uh, 76 when he passed away, and he, he pretty much drove right up to the end. Do you, do you remember uh, algebra at school? Yes. Pi? Pi, yeah. Well, I've, I've got pi as the number plate, and I'm going to put M-A-G up the top of it, so it's magpie. <laughs> I'm a big uh, Collingwood supporter, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Pete, and you're watching Bumper to Bumper. <laughs>